So in this short video, we're going to watch someone test a concrete subfloor for flatness using a 10-foot straight edge. This subfloor is, uh, this, this space is scheduled for resilient flooring, but the same process applies to uh, all floor covering types. So as we get the test underway, very simple process. All we are trying to do with this test is identify any high spots or low spots or deviations or lumps, bumps that might interfere with the look or performance of the floor covering product once it is installed. So you can see there the free resting straight edge. We've got probably eight feet of flatness and then suddenly it drops off by up to a half an inch. You can see the daylight coming through between the uh, underside of the straight edge and the surface of the concrete. So in this case, we'd say that's a, a half inch deviation over 10 feet. Now, floor covering manufacturers and industry standards are looking for 3 sixteenths of an inch over 10 feet. So clearly there's some work to be done here. Now, as he leans forward, he'll mark the areas that uh, are showing to be high. And in some cases, mark the ones that are showing to be low so that uh, the work can be done efficiently. Grinding of the high spots and pouring of cementitious underlayment in the low spots, sometimes a combination of both. And this back and forth survey method will continue right across the floor plate to identify all deviations, all um, potential problems with that subfloor so that uh, work can be done to bring it up to the standard of 3 sixteenths over 10 feet which really signifies then that the trade scope of work for a floor covering installer can begin.